The Magic Horse of Han Gong by Chen Jiang Hong. Brought to you by Enchanted Lion Books of New York. When he was little, Han Gong loved to draw. But he was unable to buy brushes and paper because his family was too poor. To help his parents by earning a little money, he went to work for the innkeeper. His job was to deliver meals to the homes of her customers. The original hub grub. One day, Han Gan delivered a meal to the famous painter, Wang Wei. After leaving, he noticed some handsome horses behind the house, and he couldn't resist sketching them in the sand. Intrigued, Wang Wei drew up behind Han Gan and looked thoughtfully at his drawing. Then he told Han Gan to come back and see him the following day. Han Gan returned the next day to find that Wang Wei had prepared paper, ink, brushes, and a small sack of coins for him. This is for you, so that you can paint as much as you like. Han Gan's heart swelled with this recognition. Han Gan drew from sunrise to sunset. More than anything, he loved to draw horses, always trying to make them seem real and as alive as possible. He was so talented that several years later, the emperor, who had heard a great deal about him, summoned him to the palace to enter, to enter the academy for official painters. At the academy, Han Gan refused to perfect his craft by imitating the works of the ancient masters, as his teacher asked him to do. He only wanted to paint horses, which strangely enough, he always painted tethered or tied up. Why do you always draw your horses hitched up, his friends asked him one day. Because, Han Gan replied, my horses are so alive they might leap right off the paper. From this time on, people began to whisper even stranger things about the horses of Han Gan. Some time later, in the deepest darkness of a silent night, a great warrior came to see Han Gan as he worked in his studio. My visit must remain secret, the warrior said. The enemy is at our gates. Tomorrow I must go and fight. I have heard that your horses are more real than nature and that your magic brush can make them come alive. If I ask you, could you bring a, to life a steed more valiant and spirited than has ever before existed? I can try, Han Gan replied. Han Gan started to draw with all his heart and soul, but the horse that he created did not come to life. Please carry on, it is crucial, the warrior insisted. I am sorry, said Han Gan. This drawing is worthless. It deserves only to be thrown in the fire. But at the very moment that he threw away the paper, an extraordinary steed bounded out from between the flames. The warrior hurled himself onto the, the mount and disappeared with him into the into the night. Take care of your horse, Hangon called after him, but only the moon was there to hear him.
The horse that had come to life had no need of water, food, or sleep. When he galloped, his hooves barely touched the ground. As for the warrior, he had never felt so mighty. And he was not simply powerful. He seemed invincible. In the fiercest battles, neither the arrows nor the spears ever touched him, not him or his horse. The warrior began to report great victories. But these victories did not satisfy him. He wanted to fight again and again until he no longer had a single living enemy. Sadness overcame the horse. He looked around at the defeated and the dead and the wounded and dying horses, and suddenly he began to cry. Throwing off the warrior in the middle of the battlefield, the horse, still covered in blood, broke into a powerful gallop. Nothing and no one could have stopped him. The warrior searched desperately for the horse. He searched for him over 36 days and through 36 nights. One autumn morning, he arrived in front of Hangon's house. The horse that you gave me has disappeared, he said to Hangon. Do you know where he is? Yes, I do, Hangon replied. Do you see this painting? In it, I painted five horses. One morning when I arose, I, re I found a sixth. It is here in my painting that your horse now lives. The magic horse is a legend, but Han Gan really existed. He lived in China 1,200 years ago and was an extraordinary painter of horses. His paintings inspired the imagination, and although only a few have survived this great passage of time, nevertheless, Han Gan has continued to be recognized as a great painter. Chen Jiang Hong painted this, the illustrations for this book directly on silk using the same techniques as that, were, that which were employed by Han Gan so many years ago. The painting you're looking at right now is an original by the real Hangon.